Yo, what's poppin'? Welcome to Bruma and Brap City. This is where we review cars and motorcycles. And in today's episode, we seek to answer a question. So let's say you want an Indian chieftain, because you like the bagger look of the Indians. Why not? Nothing wrong with that. Beautiful bikes. And you go to your closest Indian dealership and you look to buy one of these. And you find out that it costs you a little over 30,000. If you want to keep it stock, if you want to add options and things like that, it's going to add up to your price. So you come back home and you're like, yeah, I don't know if I want to spend 30,000. You look up your local Facebook marketplace, Cycle Trader, Craigslist, wherever. And you come across these bikes, the 2018 Indian Chieftain Limited. Should you buy one? In today's episode, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the similarities, the differences, the cost of ownership. I'm going to take it out on the road, share my thoughts with you guys, and I'm going to assign it a Broman score. But before we do all of that, if you're new to Broman, give us a like and hit that subscribe button. We put out content every week and your support would mean a lot. It's me, it's your boy Bro, and I am your Broman. There are various trim levels and this is the limited i think it's one of the top of the line models it's pretty much got everything on it same and it's very similar to the 2022 indian chieftain limited it's got the adjustable windshield you get a powered indians right command center here with this touch screen navigation all of that 100 watt speakers in the front but that's not all like those are some of the similarities it's got tons of storage as well you have a little cubby hole on top where you can slide in your phone with a usb cable and all that fun stuff. but those are some of the similarities now there are some differences some serious differences the first one being the design the chieftain that you see standing in front of me it's the limited of course but the design has changed drastically the newer ones have those sharper lines and whereas this has that more throwback design the classic look so looking at the front it's got the classic fairing the open fairing and it's got the riding lights installed within it this is a this is a big thing like with the newer chieftains you just get the headlight and the right the, the driving lights are an option so you got to add it on and it's not just the design that's different you can't you won't get these colors now anymore i mean the colors that you get for the chieftain limited now are there's two color options but you, you cannot get this color you can't get this color anymore take a closer look at the fairing you also have the turn signals integrated within the saddlebags have this classic look as well nice rounded saddlebags uh, to access them press the button decent and deep saddlebag here and with all the chieftains you get a power outlet in your right saddlebags this one has the tail light and the two turn signals the newer ones don't have that tail light in the middle the turn signals are your braking lights tail lights and turn signals the difference number two is the engine this one has the thunderstroke 111 or 1811 cc's this puts out 119 foot pound of torque and around 80 horses the newer chieftain limited comes with the 116 that puts out about 125 foot pound of torque and i'm assuming a tad a little bit more of the horsepower the 2018 uh, chieftains did not come with the three riding modes the 2020 2021 and 2022 chieftains have their three riding modes which are standard tour and sport this does not have riding modes the other big difference in my opinion it is the ui the user interface of the right command center 2018s it has the older ui so it's you have that red uh, magenta background with the yellow buttons and all of that the older user experience so to say but it has the exact same features you get the outside temperature time uh, your phone's connection and all of that fun stuff you can configure all of these screens by clicking here and you can select which ones you want to show up on the screen if you wanted i don't know bluetooth if you wanted trip two and vehicle status here you can do that hit back and boom that just changes and you have a tab for your music you have options for bluetooth am fm and your usb ipod whatever and then the last screen is your navigation you can enter destinations and all of that then under settings you have a general settings time settings audio settings and vehicle settings i love the contrast cut wheels that these bikes come with 
make it look so beautiful you'd get that with this bike or the newer ones they all come with the contrast cut wheels this bike has a 25 degree rake angle what's a rake angle you ask well draw a perpendicular from the steering man follow the fork tube that's your rake angle shorter the rake angle the more nimble the bike is and larger the rake angle the more stable it is at higher speeds highway speeds and such you have the same basic design and layout here this one's blacked out this is where you would have you would have the controls for heated grips and then you have central locking handlebar controls are very similar passing lights horn high beam low beam turn signals music control and you can use this to toggle through the menu on the right you have your kill switch and starter uh, cruise control and windshield settings the overall design is pretty much the same between the different model years you get these two uh, gauges uh, analog gauges on the side with your right command center in the middle you, you get your speedometer on the left tachometer on the right bunch of warning lights all through and little digital screens here on the top here you have a little cubby hole uh, you can store your phone in there or you have uh, you have an usb outlet there you can use it to plug in a usb device or your charger the key fob is pretty much the same uh, the newer ones have the same key fob it says indian on one side and has your lock and lock button on the other side these are for your central locking the fairing also has speakers one on each side well now that we've looked around the bike seen some of its features then seen some of the similarities and differences guess what time it is it's right o'clock let's go if you're new to broman give us a like and hit that subscribe button we put out content every week and your support would mean a lot let's go all right let's start off with making a couple of making a few u-turns and see how this puppy maneuvers shall we <laughs> not bad not bad at all now this is a 850 pound bike uh, but it feels very good doing these maneuvers I mean you don't feel all of that weight I think a big reason for that is the cast aluminum uh, frame that this bike is built on which gives it which makes it light but also gives it a lot of stability rigidity and strength let's talk about the first impressions the seating position is quite upright um, the handlebars are pulled back towards me uh, and my I love the floorboards they give you a lot of space to uh, rest your foot on I love the seat it's comfortable my legs aren't bent weirdly I am 5'10", 31 inch inseam and I'm sitting quite comfortably here uh, for the wind protection uh, with those with the little blockers down below I'm not getting a lot of wind here but I'm assuming without those you'll get a lot of wind down below because it doesn't have a lot of wind protection the lower fairings as for the top I'm not getting any wind here maybe a little bit over here but not down below let's raise our windshield even more at its highest setting now this is a smaller windshield so at its highest setting nothing nothing over me nothing over the helmet nothing on the top uh, i'm getting a little wind from below on the sides here but that's about it so i'd say the wind protection is pretty dang good <laughs> let's move this down and this has the stock exhaust on the bike so it has a nice throatiness to it it's not very loud uh, but it's quite throaty I like it all of the Indian motorcycles that I've reviewed so far have had phenomenal balance and this is no difference this is no different check this out I mean oh yeah <laughs> I like it it's quite chill and check this out I'm stopped at a red light I can flat foot it very easily and the balance of this motorcycle is really cool it's staying upright it doesn't want to tip over or go one way or the other just staying upright uh, I'm a very big fan of the Indian Thunderstroke 116 uh, the 111 isn't bad by any stretch of the imagination but it's just not as punchy as uh, as the 116 in my opinion in my opinion of course but if you're not looking for that punch I mean this is plenty good and yeah it still has that chugga 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 v tune characteristic it just goes like chugga 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 I love that I love that I'm a there are no riding modes on this bike none uh, 
I think it's it, the riding mode started from 2019 if I'm not mistaken and that's where you get the touring standard and sport mode uh, this has no riding mode so this is just one mode all the time and uh, yeah so at least with the riding modes you could be either chilling or if you wanted to go and act a fool you could do that uh, not so much here but if that's not something that's something that I kind of like in my bike uh, this doesn't have that but that's okay it all boils down to to you like there's a lot of subjectivity to it like should you go for one of these um, a few months ago I reviewed uh, a 2018 Chieftain Limited with the stage 3 kit the big bore kit uh, that was loud that was that was pretty much a 116 a tune 116 so uh, you can go that route if you wanted to like with the 111 you can have the stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 kits if you wanted more power out of it sure if not this would do pretty well uh, now the overall looks of the bike and the design this has a more classic throwback look the newer ones look a lot more modern and I've seen people arguing in the forums like which one's better which one's worse uh, so that's very subjective so is this a good bike for commuting yeah it is I mean it's it's quite light I mean not very light but lighter than your <laughs> um, lighter than my Roadmaster definitely so yeah it's, it's light it's uh, it's decently nimble store a good amount of storage space uh, a comfortable riding position so yeah I definitely de definitely think this could be a good bike for uh, commuting so is this a good bike for touring well we are gonna find out <laughs> We're gonna hop on the freeway and see how this thing does. Here on the highway, uh, I'm getting a bit of wind, but that's to be expected. If I move the windshield up, that should help me. Yeah, it it brings down the wind buffeting a lot. Uh, this is very planted. I'm very comfortable. Lots of storage space. A pretty good amount of storage space. So yeah, this is definitely. A good bike for touring no doubt about it you're doing highway speeds and you're sitting here you're so chill yeah boy let's open it up <laughs> yep it's not a sports bike or a sports tourer so it doesn't uh, it doesn't go I mean the, it doesn't pick up speed as fast as those but it does pretty well it's a V-twin with all the torque down below. Yeah, this is good. Now, is this a good bike for beginners? Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, for starters, you're gonna be paying in the $20,000 range. It just still weighs 850 pounds and uh, it puts out a decent amount of power. So you combine those three things together. Yeah, no, this is not a beginner bike by any stretch of the imagination. Nope, nope. No. Now with these bikes though, there's one thing. It it's an air-cooled V uh, V twin, so they tend to heat up every now and then. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> it does tend to heat up a little bit. Um, oh yeah, the other thing this does not have. Uh, speaking of that heating thing, uh, the newer bikes have uh, the this rear cylinder deactivation so if you're stopped at a red light or something it shuts down the rear cylinder uh, to help uh, help with the heating or help with the heat that's coming out of the engine this does not have the rear cylinder deactivation This has the this has all of the essentials that you would need out of a chieftain uh, the looks the comfiness and the brand the quality and you, you can save up to ten thousand dollars or even more depending upon where you live and uh, what the 
what the availability of pre-owned bikes in your area is but yeah you could you could definitely save a good amount of money while looking fly <laughs> so yeah so thank you guys keep your knees in the breeze and i'll see you soon bro out